Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have uh, just uh, attended another meeting on uh, the future of the ACP, African, Caribbean, and Pacific, uh, in relation to the Pacific uh, uh, side of the ACP. Um, and then I am told to come and speak to you on ethic, on organic uh, agriculture. Organic agriculture has been uh, uh, personally an important uh, field to me for many years as a leader of this very small country. I try often to seek solutions, cheaper solutions to our unique challenges and also identify ways uh, to make the most of our unique strengths and opportunities. And organic uh, agriculture is one of these uh, solutions. It is a particularly important solution as it is proving to be a cross-cutting solution that addresses key issues uh, of small islands, including climate change and disaster, risk management, protection of our ocean seas and biodiversity, as well as the sustainable economic and social development of our countries. It is especially important uh, in economies uh, such as ours, where the majority of the families are engaged in uh, agriculture for food, food security needs and livelihoods. Agriculture also offers uh, limitless uh, opportunities in uh, employment. Uh, just only last week I was uh, uh, asked by the media what I do about unemployment of our youth and, uh, and, and whether I was worried about uh, unemployment. Uh, I know the question was supposed to catch me. Uh, it's more than an interest in uh, a, a productive answer. So I have to give the usual technical economic uh, term. Uh, there is not an unemployment issue in, uh, in Samoa. Uh, it's only underemployment. And the difference is there is always employment available in agriculture, but people prefer prefer to come to the city and neglect our agriculture where there are limitless opportunities to go out and farm, feed your family and the surplus you come and sell in the market. In the Pacific region, organic production is both traditional and new. It is traditional in the sense that the many producers to this day use tried and tested uh, practices handed down from generation to generation that are generally in harmony with the environment and with modern organic principles. And it is new in that Pacific countries and territories are now entering international export markets through meeting the standards of organic certification, generating much needed livelihoods, opportunities uh, for our people. The connection with tradition and culture is, I believe, why organic is being embraced by the Pacific. Our people recognize and remember the agricultural practices of our fathers which uh, sustain us in remote islands for generations. They also recognize how some new practices have been responsible for damage to our environment and are not uh, sustainable. And I always recall uh, in my own family 
uh, 65 years ago, when I would go out with my father uh, to our organic plantation and uh, harvest taros, uh, bananas, and they were all organic uh, products. Uh, I don't know whether some of you were born 65 years ago, but uh, I know a lot of you were not yet born. <coughs> Uh, at the time, sustainability, a much used term, is at the core of the needs of sense. This is much more than uh, environmental soundness and the ability to ensure the continued provision of goods and services to present and uh, for future generations. Sustainability is about ecosystem integrity, social well-being, economic resilience and also good governance. Organic agriculture is now making a significant contribution towards uh, our sustainable development. And I'm talking on behalf of small island developing states due uh, to uh, the environment and climate friendly production systems. Its suitability for small holders and its ability to be adapted to local conditions. The entire organic system is based on participation and necessary uh, public-private partnerships where our smallholders can be supported and integrated into markets, making capitalizing on our favorable growing conditions, unique products and image in the market of being a clean, green island paradise. Organics also supports the diversity of food cultures in small islands and safeguards traditional knowledge. It also builds food and nutritional security. My government has recognized the valuable role organic agriculture can play and have directly supported the cost of organic certification for smallholders over five years in partnership with uh, the Women in Business Development, a national NGO. This public-private partnership, along with the support of development partners, has resulted in export markets supplied from small family farms around our country. From July last year, three container uh, shipments of over 26 tons, organic certified virgin coconut, coconut oil, went out to the body shop international, international in the United Kingdom and to a niche uh, market in Hawaii, earning over 400,000 uh, dollar, which went straight into the hands of the rural farmers. Exports of organically certified dried bananas are also coming out more regularly to New Zealand. Organically certified products now contribute uh, 1% uh, to Samoa's GDP attributed to agriculture. Smallholders are frequently classed as part of the informal economy. But these speakers show that through organic agriculture, they play a significant role in the economic development of our country. And I see a bright future for our country with organic agriculture as its backbone. Importantly, our people will have secure access to safe, healthy, local food, improving our nation's health. Our farming systems will be developing increased resilience to climate risks due to improved uh, organic practices. Our water sources and coastal fisheries will be protected from, risk, from the risk of contamination. Our environment will build enhanced biodiversity and be protected from land degradation. These environmental outcomes will underpin a robust economy with a diverse, high-value export industry. It will add value to our tourism industry, enhancing our image and the reality of our 
show us as a destination and creating new local value chains for the agricultural produce and value added products. Crucially, meaningful work and entrepreneurial opportunities for young people will be created. I was quite pleased to be approached to speak at this event and thank the International Federation of Organic Agriculture for taking the initiative in hosting. As chair of our informal high-level organic leaders group, I have watched the organic movement in the region under the umbrella of the Pacific Organic and Ethical Trade Community grow, strengthen, and diversify over the last few years. There are now over four, uh, 50 organic and eth uh, ethically certified businesses and NGOs exporting from the Pacific, involving over 15,000 farming families. The strength of this movement is no doubt in the fact <coughs> that it is root, uh, rooted deeply in the small holder farming community and driven by the passion and commitment of our region's producers to grow clean, safe, healthy food for our people and for exports, while at the same time protecting our pristine but fragile island environments. It is indeed a grassroots movement, a movement that has taken the future in its own hands. And I would like to acknowledge the valuable support of the Secretary of the Pacific Community and development partners such as the European Union, the French Pacific Fund, and the International Fund for Agriculture Development, uh, which have supported this development and I'm hopeful <coughs> this support will continue and that it will increase in amounts and that other development partners will commit to supporting this endeavor. 